Hi, it's Daniel Hill with 30 things I learned by 30. And number 26 is trust uh, your gut. Trust your gut. Your gut knows more than you think. And whilst you may feel like it's a sixth sense or something that's completely unconnected to logic and experience, that's not actually the case. It might be a physical feeling that is your uh, that is your gut but it's made up of all of the experiences you've had today the successes the challenges the lessons and the learnings every time i've personally had a gut feeling and whether i've gone for it or against it and it's probably a split balance of the two the gut has always been right it's always more value in telling you about things that didn't work rather than potentially those that did to enable you to progress quicker and to give you an example of when that didn't work for me. I remember doing a development a few years ago and I walked up the stairs so it was a we did a bit of an open house for main contractors to come in and tender for the work so they're all running around the building with their scheduler works uh, the scope starting to cost things up look at the construction drawings those sort of things and on the stairs on the way up I was I went to attend just to I think I was just attending I wasn't actually part of the process our project manager was running all of the main contractors but I didn't actually speak to any of the main contractors on site but I did pass one guy on the stairs and this was literally a five second meeting where I passed him on the stairs having manners I said oh hi you know welcome to site uh, great to see you. My name's uh, Daniel Hill and he introduced himself as uh, whatever his name was and the company was from. I carried on walking up the stairs and literally that was no more than a 10 second interaction. But my gut feeling was I, that guy is not going to win the contract. And it was a combination of loads of things. It was the way he spoke, it was what he was wearing, it was the, uh, I remember he had a, uh, a bracelet on. There was all of these little things that would have contributed to it. And I couldn't tell you what they were, but my gut instinct was saying that we shouldn't give the work to this guy. He was one of probably four, five or six main contractors pitching for the work. The tendering process went through and sure enough, he was shortlisted as one of two main contractors to go with. The only difference between him and the other contractor was he was over, uh, he was over 50,000 pounds cheaper than the next main contractor. And obviously, despite my gut, that had a very real appeal. So we agreed to go with him. We went through the, the contract process. I had this gut feeling that it wasn't the right thing to do, but commercially on paper, everything stacked up. References, credit checks, um, uh, the, or doing all the due diligence on their business. It all stacked up. My gut said no. The day before we went to go on site, the main contractor pulled off the job, disappeared off the face of the earth and left, left us standing with a, a million pound project, never to be seen again. Phone call cut off, email cut off, company dis disappeared out of nowhere. And it was, I, I couldn't tell you any logic behind it. It was my gut instinct that told me that was gonna happen. The logic said it would all be good. So I'd encourage you to consider that as you progress. Uh, so the, the next one is a trust your gut.